city volunteers are continuing to survey damaged schools. On March 24th, volunteers and OECC engineers went to two Catholic schools run by the Congregation of Sisters of St. Anne. The two schools are Christ the King Secretarial School and College Marianne. College Marianne has announced it will reopen on April 6. However, its buildings and wall are still in ruins. The school authorities hope the wall can be rebuilt and 20 large tents put up inside for temporary classrooms. After lengthy talks with the school directors, Tsiji volunteers are aware of their needs, which they communicate to engineers. If they need to rebuild here with two floors, three floors, maybe they can add on it, or maybe they can re like, yeah, remove the it and then dig the foundation and build up. Right. They're not sure, but something for them to go back to school soon. Right. Yeah. So, thank I will, you. I will discuss to them. At Christ the King Secretarial School, the authorities think tents will not make suitable classrooms, so have opted for transitional buildings instead. How this is going to be done is another question. Although Tsuji is still assessing the reconstruction program, volunteers and engineers inspect the school grounds and make preparations as usual, deciding to start work as soon as possible. On the following day, the volunteers visit the St. Anne Convent, which runs both schools, to confirm the land rights and building permission documents with the nuns. The Haitian government announced that the country's school would reopen in April, but with school buildings destroyed and teachers nowhere to be seen, it seems unlikely the promise will be kept. One person who is trying to do something about the situation is John Dennis. After the quake, he lost his job as a high school English teacher and became the captain of a Tsiji Work for Relief program team. Then he spent two months of his wages to buy tables and chairs for a temporary school, which opened on March 22nd. After the earthquake, Haitian children who want to go to school have a hard time walking a few steps through what looks like a derelict building, and you come to a temporary classroom. Nearly a hundred students are learning in three half-ruined classrooms. Strictly speaking, this is not an open-air school because it is covered. The plastic sheeting shades the students from the sun, but does little to keep out the rain. <laughs> The children learn the French for My Sister is Sick, which seems to be a practical lesson in the aftermath of Haiti's biggest humanitarian disaster. You can see, in the same classroom, I have to squat down to talk to some students, but there are others as tall as this girl. Children of different ages all learn together. There aren't enough classrooms or teachers. The Stair Lake School was created by Jean Dennis, who is a high school English teacher. After the quake, he became a captain of a Tsiji Work for Relief team and is currently taking Tsichun training, which is why he is wearing a blue and white uniform without a logo. Dennis can be seen at Tsiji A distribution sites and submitting written funding proposals at the Tsiji office at OECC. Dennis has already recruited eight volunteer teachers for his education project. After the halfway, how are going to become our future if there is no education? No education. Who will give the country? You're supposed to be educated to, to give the country. Education is the hope for Haiti's future. Although President Preval said schools would reopen in April, no one can say if it will actually happen. Meanwhile, the children need emotional counseling. <laughs> Dennis's plan is to help 100 children go to school and give them breakfast, lunch and an evening meal to take home. The program budget is 80 US dollars a week. Dennis has already bought school desks and chairs out of his own pockets, spending 7,000 gourds, which is twice his monthly wage. The teacher gives without thought of return because he says he hears the cries of the children. Haitian teacher Jean Dennis used to be in charge of a 